Welcome to this edition of Northwest Real Estate Forum. Today, we are continuing our discussion with John Economis about homeowners insurance. With all the weather-related tragedy going on today, homeowners insurance is a big part of a recovery after a devastation of flood or fire. Welcome back, John. Thank you. So, I wanted to talk about, we have continue our discussion on homeowners insurance. What are the most common claims that you see in your practice for homeowners policies? Water claims are probably the largest of the losses. Um, usually that would be like a washing machine overflowing, a dishwasher backing up. Um, another one would be the refrigerator ice maker leaks. And those tend to cause extensive damage. And a lot of times there's so much water that, that is dispersed throughout the house. Um, the remediation costs are in the tens of thousands of dollars. Wow. Um, also, another one would be a bathtub overflowing upstairs. Correct. Or Now, when you talk about remediation costs, that's, of course, the replacement. And mm -hmm. has mold been an issue? It's a good question. Mold has been a big issue. And over the years, the insurance companies, um, with the advent of, of big mold claims, they actually changed their policies to either exclude mold or only provide very limited coverage for mold remediation. But if a house has some water damage and it's corrected quickly, there wouldn't be any mold issues. Usually. However, mold will start within 24 to 48 hours, hmm. so it's pretty quick. Well, I think we're going to have to have a bigger discussion on mold at <laughs> another time. Um, so, uh, other than water, would there, like, lightning or... Lightning um, and fire are typical losses, although you don't see as many losses as you would think. Mm -hmm. uh, other losses uh, would be um, collapse of the home or windstorm, hail. Hail, hail damage is a big one, more, more, mostly in the Midwest, though. Uh-huh. Uh, we, we don't, don't have that much yes. here. We did a few years ago. We had a large hailstorm in the north end near Bothell where the hail was the size of golf balls, and it created quite a lot of damage in a small, concentrated area. Oh, interesting. Okay, so those are the most common claims. Now, in our previous session, you mentioned the clue report. Now, as a real estate broker, I used to have the homeowner that was buying a policy ask their insurance agent to look at the clue report. We don't do that as much now, but can you explain how important a clue report is and, and how a homeowner would get it or would want to see it? Yeah. The clue reports are primarily an insurance industry report, and it stands for Comprehensive Loss Underwriting Exposure. So any insurance company, if they have a loss, they put that information in the database and as insurance agents and insurance companies have access to all that information. So that's where we, we see what prior losses a home has had or an insured. It'll break it down by the property and the person. I remember um, having a homeowner who had a, not a, didn't go through a brokerage. They went directly to an insurance company and they called up and asked a question and the insurance company entered that as a claim, which it really, under, under further investigation, it wasn't a claim. But is, as you as the broker, you would tell people this is worth making a claim or this isn't. If the washing machine overflows a little bit, then you wouldn't want them to make a claim. C correct. And normally, I, when I talk to my clients, if they have a claim, I prefer them to call me first, especially if they're not sure. If the claim is anywhere near their deductible, it's not worth turning it in because it will show up on the report and it can affect their future premiums for up to five years. When we finish off all of our discussions about homeowners insurance, I think everybody will realize that we don't know everything we need to know, but when we do have a problem, our agent is our first person that we need to talk to, right? That's correct. Okay. Thanks very much, John. We'll talk to you again soon. Thank you. Thanks for watching our discussion on homeowners insurance. Hopefully, you learned about important issues for homeowners insurance and how it can help protect you from catastrophic financial losses. To learn more about this and other shows, please follow us on NorthwestRealEstateForum.com or follow us on Facebook. While you're there, be sure to order your copy of the Buyer's Guide and the Seller's Guide for important information when buying and selling a home. Thanks again. See you next time.